Hello, I'm Ashley Simone and this is Foodgasm. And it is cocktail time. And yes, I'm gonna do my cocktail on the grill. It's a spicy grilled fruit sangria. Mm. Well, the first step, I'm gonna make my spiced simple syrup. Half cup of water. You can use sugar if you like, but I love to use honey. Mm, half cup of honey. That's gonna be good. Ooh, sticky and sweet. Crystallized chopped ginger. Mm. Some cloves. These are whole cloves. Peppercorns, black peppercorns for a little kick. One stick of cinnamon. Two star anise. I love star anise. It is this wonderful sort of licorice flavor. And for a little heat, the spiciness, this is red pepper chili flakes. Mix it all together, I'm gonna put this on the stove. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then simmer it for five minutes so all those flavors can infuse. Now it's time to grill the fruit. I've picked out some amazing fresh fruit, but you can pick whatever you like. Got some lemon, oranges will be good, plums, nectarines or peaches, pears and mango, my favorite. I've already got my fruit all cut up for me. A special friend did my chopping for me. I'm so lucky. But I think my simple syrup is ready to go. That's been sitting for a while, so we have lots of time for all the flavors to combine and get nice and spicy and sweet. Use a strainer. That looks great. My grill's all nice and hot and ready to go, but I gotta make sure to lube it up, put a little bit of oil on there. This is because fruit is very sticky and sweet, which is great, <laughs> but you don't want it sticking to your grill. Time for my fruit. Ooh, my fruit looks nice and done. Sexy grill marks. Now I'm going to chop my fruit. Because you want when you have it in your sangria, nice little bite-sized pieces. Nice rough chop. Waste any of that fruit. And the fruit needs to soak in some deliciousness to bring out all those wonderful flavors, so put in a little brandy. Just a dash. Let this sit for at least a half an hour and at best overnight. Mmm, so good. I have a fantastic pitcher here. So, start with the wine. I like to use a nice spicy red wine, like a Shiraz or a Syrah. Helps bring out the spiciness of the fruit. And four ounces of brandy, a little extra brandy. Four ounces of some orange liqueur. Mmm, delicious. A little bit of your simple syrup. It's about four to five ounces, depending on how much sweetness you like in your sangria. Last but not least, the delicious fruit. And to truly get all the flavors to blend, you want to let this soak overnight or at least for like four or five hours. But you know, I don't know if I can wait that long because it's just going to taste so good. I know that I said that was the last, but I have a secret. I have something that makes it extra spicy and it's not just my sexy self. Some hot sauce. Give it a little extra kick. Couple of dashes, a little extra will do ya. Mmm. 
Mmm, this looks great and boy do I deserve it. It has been a long day. I have one for me and for my special friend. Extra fruit, a little extra love. Best part, time to taste. Ooh, that's good. Uh, for quality control, I need to try my friends. I am Ashley Simone, and this is Foodgasm. I hope you've enjoyed yourself just as much as I have. And remember, Food is love. Mwah.